I'm truly the ultimate lucky student, I need to survive here. Isn't that right? You're fucking insane, Nagito. Holy shit. Please, stop! Click. Click. Ah, oh, the sound just now. That was the door unlocking, right? Looks like we finally cleared the final dead room. Uh, I... I'm scared of you, Nagito. Huh? Really? Oh well, let's go. The octagon should be just beyond the door. Did he really just... Goddamn, Nagita. So this is the octagon, huh? They really just have like a bunch of murder weapons. Holy shit. <sighs> what a distorted room. Distort, distort. I said that right. Yeah, distorted. Well. Congratulations, Nagito. Ah, he's here. Congratulations on clearing the final dead room. And you even challenge yourself at the highest difficulty with only one sixth chance of succeed of succeed success. Here! I have a modest present for someone like you. Now then, this first, what the hell is wrong with my dog? He is like huffing and puffing. That was weird. I don't know what the hell his problem is. I just looked at him and then he just stopped. Is there the future is that the future foundation file? Didn't we already get this when we were at the roller coaster? Uh -huh. Well, just think of it as an extension of that. Extension. Hey, hey! You. What are you. What are you giving without permission? Hmm. Let's see. And one special prize? There you go. This crest, Host Week Academy. This is the file. So you weren't lying, Monokuma, you little fucking bastard. <laughs> That's right, this file. It contains your student profiles from time at Hope's Academy. Meaning, there's profiles that you guys don't even remember. Our time at Hope's Academy, huh? But after all this time, I still can't believe it. Do you mean the matter concerning you stolen school memories? I mean, a no-good person like me actually spent time with everyone else at Hope's Academy. Nah, that's impossible. If that's true, how did I feel? Surely I would have spent my time feeling ashamed of myself for being in the presence of such greatness. Hmm. Jeez, whether you're upbeat or depressed, I still don't understand you at all. Oh well, anyways, I'm passing this along to you. Hope you use it, uh, how you use it is up to you. Thanks, I'll take a long look at it later. So, if I look at these profiles, I'll finally find out if Hajime's hidden talent. He'll probably be happy about it. Yay, someone like me was finally useful. <laughs> Huh? What are you laughing about? Well, I just thought it was ironic. Out of everyone here, someone like you was the one who obtained Hotspeak Academy student files. I'm not sure if you're lucky or unlucky. What does that mean? But, looks like things are gonna get interesting. Yes, Nagito. You might be the one who makes things such more... Um, uh, that you fuck. I fucked that up. What he said? Uh, it might make things much more interesting. Not such more interesting. God damn it. I don't really know what you're talking about. Hey, what are you planning? What's written in there? Lies. Anyways, Manomi. Hey, hey. No cheating. You haven't reached the end yet. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah. I mean, you haven't played Russian Roulette yet. Um, but Nagito already did. No, no, no. <gasps> no, 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 no. It. Get over here. Revenge of the final death room. No. <laughs> uh, what the hell's that word? Kerosina? Wait, what? Karekio? What the fuck? I don't know what that word is. Jeez, they're gone. In the end, I still understand what Monokumo's talking about, but for now, I'll leave this file for later. First, I need to investigate this room. It's not like I know how to get out of here. Alright, well, got some grenades, some maces, a bunch of shit. Look at all these weapons. Axe, swords, hammers, wired metal, metal wires. There's a lot of items here that can be used as weapons, but I don't really see it looks like it could be the ultimate weapon. I wonder if the so-called open I wonder what the hell the ultimate weapon is. Alright, well See, so there's a lot of firearms here too. They're handguns, grenade launchers, and even but I don't see anything that looks like an ultimate weapon. Well what about this window? A window? Why is there only one window in a place like this? It looks like there's some kind of hidden meaning to it. But it's actually okay. What the hell is going on? My dog is losing his shit. All right, we're back. I, I don't know what the hell's wrong with my dog. To be honest, he's just like huffing and puffing. It's weird. 
breathing heavily back there. In my mind, I, uh, the fuck, I entertained various possibilities as I walked slowly towards the window. And then the moment I peeked out of the window, huh? This is what I actually saw outside the window. It was completely different from any possibility I had in mind. <laughs> I see! So that's what it was. Ah, uh, what I saw outside the window, if I started piercing it, if I started piecing it together and think about it, yeah, I see. It seems I'm finally starting to get a large perspective on the fun house with this. Ah. Uh, funnel dead room. Oh. Got some monitors and shit, refrigerators. What's inside there? Can I see anything in there? A refrigerator here? I was expecting to find drinks in it, but when I open the door, peek inside, I see there's poison stored in there. I would secretly kill everyone with poison, in a way, it could be considered the most powerful weapon. In the case, you have ignored the rules. Huh. There's a door on the floor. Is it the first floor of Strawberry House? Could this door lead to underground, based on the sketch? Uh, should be a bunker. No, maybe what lies beyond the door. <laughs> Things are finally getting interesting. Amazing! As expected of this place, cannot be reached unless you clear the final dead room. Thanks to how I arrived here, all the separate pieces seem to have co connected together in one fell swoop. A chain reaction. Fuck, goddammit. Cul cul culminating, culminating, that's the word, that's the word, I know the word, and the truth, all thanks to just one clue. I know that now there's no time to enjoy this, but there's definitely a good feeling. Especially that window. Oh man, I wish you can see that window. That's right, everything became connected from there. Thanks to that window, I realized the mystery of the ultimate weapon in Funhouse. Now, all I have to do is tell everyone about this. But before I do that, I should finally take a look at these files I received from Monokuma. Especially if there's ev if they're everyone's student profiles from the time of Hope Peak Academy. That's important. I cautiously opened the file and read it carefully, taking care not to miss a single letter. Carefully. Huh? Hey. Can you hear me? Oh! Can you hear Hodge me? <laughs> huh? Oh, I'm sorry. Did you say something? Well? It's been about two hours since we spoke to Fihiko. I wonder if the elevator's been fixed yet. It'd be bad if you were still split. It was still split. Uh, what the fuck? It'd be bad if we were still split before the class trial, so maybe we should call them one more time. Mm -hmm. Hey, are you even listening? I only brought that up because I'm really worried. Sorry. So, what are you gonna do? You're right. I'm worried about them too. Let's try calling the Strawberry House one more time. I think. Yeah, that's a great idea. I think. What? I'm sorry. Huh? How did you... What? Hello there. Why, hello there, Hajime. Nagito, why are you here? <laughs> because I showed up. You showed up? How did you even come here? <laughs> Maybe I teleported. Huh? Naito's sudden appearance has been added to the truth bullet selection in your handbook. Chicky, you seeing this shit? I think. There's no way he actually teleported, I think. It's probably some sort of explanation. Okay, well, I'll just call the other guys and let them know that you're here. It's a great thing. What the fuck? My dog is losing his shit. So, I am back again, ladies and gentlemen. This time, I actually found out the reason why my dog was losing his shit. Let me explain this to you. So, earlier today, right, uh, I was taking a nap because I was really tired. And my dog thought it was a great idea to take a shit in the house. And then, I woke up, I found it, and I took the shit and I showed it to him. And I said, you, you don't do this. Listen, that's bad. You don't do this. Your bad dog, go outside and use the bathroom, right? So... Apparently, I guess my dog took that to heart, like really to heart. So while he was sitting there huffing and puffing the whole time, I was wondering what the fuck was wrong with him. 
Apparently, instead of scratching at the door and telling me he has to go outside like he usually do, he was just, like, I guess he was just scared, and he just sat there and tried to take a shit in secret. Like, he literally just, like, just laid down on his pillow. He has, like, a pillow on the floor that he lays down on, and he laid down on it, and I was like, what the hell is that noise coming from? And that's just him just trying to secretly take a shit. And I was like, he ain't gotta do that now, that's crazy. So I just let him outside and shit. But anyways, he should not be huffing and puffing any longer. That was some pretty weird shit that he actually did. Fucking shitty dog. Anyways, it's a great theme telephone. The strawberry button. Just like I thought it definitely connects to the strawberry house. Okay, can I not call them? Call my Ada, speak. Hey, answer me seriously. How did you be- how are, how'd you get here? Hey. Before I do that, there's something I need to tell you guys. There is. I tried to investigate Strawberry House as much as I could. Now then. I'll give you those details first. Let's hurry this up. After being abruptly interrupted by Nagito, Chiki and I learned about the results of the investigation of Strawberry House. Elevator has been added. That has been added. Alright, so Komaeda's giving me all these, uh... Yeah, okay. He's passing, he's passing it on to me. Well, I guess that was pretty important, especially the fact that everyone in Strawberry House heard the rumbling noise too. But, what was that about the wall clock alarm going off before that happened? Also, the fact that Strawberry Hall's button was broken is definitely worth the noting. Hey! Also, there's one more thing I need to tell you guys. <laughs> I've cleared the final dead room! Huh? Could it be? You did the life-threatening game? Wow. It wasn't life-threatening at all. It was just a little escape game that ended with some Russian roulette. Russian... Roulette? Mom. Is that a game where you load one bullet in a gun, spin the cylinder, point it towards you, and pull the trigger? Clabow! So you really did it. Man. Uh, so that's how you're supposed to play it. So, it would be fine if I only used one bullet, huh? I guess it was just, as my mommy said. Huh? Huh? Actually. I misunderstood that and I had to take one bullet out of the cylinder, so that was how I did it. That. You only had a 1 in 6 chance of surviving. Well... Uh, but, I'm still alive. After all, the only good thing I'm, about me is how lucky I am. What the hell is wrong with him? I knew he was trying from the start, but for him to casually do something so suicidal? He's crazy. That, that, that's... That, man, you're fucking crazy. I... Anyways, because I was able to clear the final dead room, I was able to obtain several rights. And one of those rights... <laughs> was the freedom to move between Grape House and Strawberry House. Not only that, but whenever I move back and forth, I don't even need to play the game again. Back and forth? Where where would you even be able to do that from, and how? Man. Hey, Hajime. Stay quiet. I've been repeating myself over and over, and it's bugging me. Can you let me speak freely for a change? Huh? <laughs> Anyways, I'm definitely lucky. Thanks to that, I was able to clear the roulette at the highest difficulty. And I obtained quite an amazing prize for my reward. Is that the future foundation file? Yep. Yeah, it's a continuous file on the. F uh, it's a continue a continuation of the file we received at the roller coaster. Continuation. There's even more details information. Even more detailed information from the killing school life than it was in the earlier file. Uh, the killing school life. Do you mean the killing that took place at Hope's Peak Academy, right? As I recall, Byakuya was one of the students who participated in it. <laughs> Isn't it? But even when, I, even when we learn more about the killing school life, it has no relevance to us whatsoever. There was information about the order of the killings and who the killer was for each incident. I find it extremely boring to read about the deaths of people that I don't even know. Right. Besides Byakuya, of course. Then, it's just as I thought, that Byakuya was the Byakuya we knew, right? What? However, I can't say the information was completely useless. In truth, there are, similar, there are similar similarities between... Wait, what? I just added an extra word in there, and there were similarities between the killing school life and the killing school trip. Similarities. For example, the first murder involves someone important getting stabbed to death in an unex unexpected place. Hey. The second murder revealed the presence of a serial killer amongst the group. <laughs> well, the second one I did, I did, I, I found that out. 
and the third murder was actually two killings that happened in succession. Two killings that happened. Yeah, you're right about that. Okay. Hey. What do you guys think about the strange similarities? It's definitely strange. Are we having a Metal Gear moment? Are we having a fucking... Are we having a Metal Gear 2 moment here? Where none of this shit... Where all the shit is just planned and constructed? I can't think of these as coincidence, especially if Monokuma is behind the motives and the driving and the driving uh and driving the murders. What are you trying to say? By the way, the fourth murder of the skilling tool trip, life was uh apparently ruled by suicide. Huh? <laughs> Whether that means something or not, it's something each person would think about on their own. I just wanted to tell you guys the truth. The truth? Are you sure you're not just trying to confuse us? Jeez, your comp, your what the fuck compliments? <laughs> your complaints just never end, do they? If you're gonna talk like that, I don't want to tell you anymore. And I even learned what your talent is too, huh? Well, well, the file wasn't the one I received that from my wait what? This is the other. Okay, <laughs> I'm having like a hard moment here. Oh, I'm losing my mind. I can't read anymore. That. That seal. Yep. Indeed, it's the Hoaxby Academy School Crest. Perhaps. Does that have information about our stolen memories? How unfortunate. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any clues about that. The file doesn't contain our information, just Hajime's information. Just mine. Why? Isn't that weird? Why only Hajime's information? Jeez. It's quite troubling that you would ask me that. I must say, it was always interesting that Hajime was the only one who couldn't remember his talent. Right? But that ends now. Are you serious? Did you really find out why I was chosen by Hoaxpeak Academy? In a way, it's just as Chiki said, Hajime's existence is special. Because you were... <laughs> just some reserve corps student from the reserve department. Huh? Huh? Well... Unlike the primary department for main corps students who possess ultimate talents, the reserve department is for reserve corps students who entered the school who entered the school through a basic entrance exam. Essentially, you're like a substitute or the second string. Well, even then, that's just a name only. The reserve department pretty much only exists to increase Hot Speed Academy revenue stream. Reserve department, substitute, second string, reserve stream. What? What the hell? What are you saying? <laughs> like I said, to be a reserve course student, you don't need to possess an ultimate talent. You just have to pray you just have to pay a rather costly interest fee and tuition. With the funds obtained from these exams, the academy can focus on bolstering and researching talent. <laughs> Though this the symbol of hope can be rise. Isn't that right? It can be raised, not rise. Which means you're just a step ladder. But you should feel the honor. An average talentless human can be put to good use for those who are known as mankind's hope. What the hell does that mean? <sighs> Perhaps you simply weren't determined enough. Did you admire hope? Were you willing to sacrifice your body and soul to obtain Hope Speak Academy? <laughs> or maybe you were just obsessed with Hope Speak Academy, like a fangirl following the latest trend. It's not like that. I. Want it to become hope? If that's what you're trying, if that's what you're thinking, just stop it. Listen carefully. The only humans worthy of becoming hope possess amazing talents and a strong will. And the moment you're born into this world, you either have it or you don't. There's no mistake. It has nothing to do with effort. You must be chosen by hope to become hope. You don't even know? That's why it's not even worth admiring. Or were you so blinded by your admiration for Hope's Peak Academy that you couldn't even see that? <laughs> You're just some nobody from the reserve course who never had the talent to begin with. A nobody who forgot he was a nobody. That's all. Then I... I'm just... <laughs> That's right. You were never an ultimate. You had no talent whatsoever. I don't have any talent. I'm just an ordinary high school student. Man. 
Ah, I feel sorry for you. Are you shocked to learn that you are the only one who didn't have a talent? That's not it. But still, if you think about it positively, it looks like there's no more reason to doubt you. Now that we know who you are, a normal, average, utterly unremarkable high school student. <laughs> there's no way you could be associated with the Future Foundation. Hmm. But if it's not Hajime, then who in the world could the traitor be? The survivor of the previous killing school at Byakuya would have been the most likely candidate. But now, that's probably impossible. Hey. Hey, you listening? Hold it. There's no need for you to listen to this. What? Huh? Well? It may be important to talk about who the traitor is, but we need to focus on Mekamaro's murders first. Because if we can't survive the class trial, everyone is going to die together anyways. Mm. In that case, would the trailer be amongst those killed as well? That's something I truly wonder about. Yep. Oh well, it's fine. I'll stop for now. Hey, hey! You said you cleared the final dead room and obtained these files. That means you must have gone to the octagon, right? Hey. Are you curious about the ultimate weapon? So... Did you find out what it was? <sighs> maybe I did, maybe I didn't. Is there any reason I should answer that? Huh? What, what the hell? <laughs> I'm the one who cleared the room, and I'm free to divulge any clues I obtain there there as I see fit right are you planning to keep it a secret are you planning to side with the killer again Man. like I said I'm not on the killer's side that hasn't changed since this began how many times must I repeat myself I just want hope to shine even brighter mm. what are you saying doesn't make any sense at all just tell us already tell us about the ultimate weapon Jeez. Jeez, I guess I have no choice. I suppose I can tell you one little tidbit. I... You're right. I don't I don't go a place wait what? I did go a place that seemed to be the octagon and I found many different weapons there. But I didn't find anything worthy of the name ultimate weapon. Don't lie. There's no way that's possible. Stop it. Coming from someone with no talent like yourself, that's truly offensive. What what did you say? Oh. Fine, I understand. Now's not the time for us to be fighting anyways. If you won't tell us, we gotta, uh, we gotta do it ourselves. Now, shall we get back to the investigation for McMorrow's case? We better hurry. The class trial is gonna start soon. You're right. You're right. I haven't, I've, oh uh, fuck. I haven't even seen the crime scene. Also, the guys at Strawberry House should be coming over to this side any moment now. Then, while we're at it, I'll go on ahead. He just faded away. Hey. Like he's fucking Yoda. Hey, Hajime. It's okay. I already know. You want me to focus on Nekamura's case for now. It's true that I'm shocked, but now it's not the time for me to feel like this. Right now, I can't afford to be the only one who's depressed. I need to survive with everyone else and return home. That's what's most important. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, I'm relieved to hear that. You should get moving then. Yeah, you're right. I should just forget about it for now. I need to focus on Nekamaro's case. So, my suspicions were cleared for Hajime not having any talent because, <laughs> because, uh, damn, damn. All right, well, shit. God damn it. God damn it. All right. Okay. Huh, I've returned from the depths of hell. Gundam. Yo. Yo, sorry we're late. Hey. Just as you all know, it's all thanks to me. I'm the one who fixed the elevator. <laughs> See, it's just as I said, right? Hey. Hey, are you even listening to me? I'm trying to stand out hey. here. More importantly, Kazuichi, did you look into the matter I asked you about? Huh? huh? Oh, think about the compass? I looked into it while I was coming here, but I think the compass might be broken. You stay quiet. Uh, I didn't ask for your opinion, just tell me the results. <laughs> uh, well... The compass, uh, Neo rotated 180 degrees while we were riding the elevator. I was fucked. Mm. Mm. Okay, I knew it. Then Neo rotated 180 degrees. <laughs> I see, just as I thought. Mm. Hey, what do you mean by that? That's well, obviously nice. the elevator is most likely rotated 180 degrees. The elevator rotated. Now then, now then I should go investigate Nekomar's body. As if he were thumbing his nose at us, Naito began making his way towards Grape oh Tower. My. What the hell is wrong with him? He just seemed pissed off or something. Naito, what do you know? How much do you know? 
cool. Well, I guess I'll go ahead to Nekamaru's body. I mean, fuck, god damn it. Nagito's over here fucking, fucking feeling so good about himself because he's not, he's not the worthless one anymore. Let me, let me move my, my microphone over here. <laughs> damn it. Damn it. I don't know who did this, but it's pretty fucked up. Hey. Now's not the time to get sentimental. Come on. We need to hurry up and investigate. But we've already investigated everything we can here. Wow. No, you haven't. There's still something you should be able to investigate more thoroughly. Now that Mekon is no longer with us, we can perform an autopsy. Right. We can't perform an autopsy, but Kazuichi is able to disassemble, uh, disassemble the body, right? Huh? Eh? It cannot be! Is that true? Are you gonna disassemble Nekamaru's body? Don't you. screw with me. Hasn't Coach Nekamaru been through enough already? You don't know? Been through enough? We need to perform this investigation so we can find out who the killer is. Or perhaps you don't want to know, Kane. Maybe you don't care about what happened to Nekamaru. Damn it! What? Why you? You stay quiet. If you stuck if you suck at using your brain and you what the fuck? If you suck at using your brain and you really want to know who the killer is, try not interfering so much. Damn it. Jeez. Come on, Kazuichi. What are you standing there for? Uh, Damn it. Fine. I'll just do it. Man, Komaeda, you are fucking. You are really feeling yourself right now, aren't you? I know I said I wanted to see his insides, but not like this. It's too much. Well. Come on, are you guys feeling okay too? Now's not the time to be staring into space. Now you can tell, there's definitely something, definitely something wrong with you. you. You really feel confident about yourself now, now you tell, being a little bossy ass. I thought he was just treating me differently ever since he found out I had no talent, but it seems like it's not entirely the case. His attitude towards everyone else is strange now too, but why? Nagito's like, none of you have talent. It's all a lie! Alright, uh... Well, Kazuichi, tell me what you find. Damn it! Come so far, there's no way I can be sentimental all the time like this. I feel awful for Nekamaru, uh, for Nekamaru, but it's necessary if we're gonna find out the truth behind the case. As he forced his voice out through his clenched teeth, Kazuichi faced Nekamaru, his eyes full of determination, and began stabbing his tool knife into the fucking... Stab him! Huh? Where'd you get that tool knife? Nagito gave it to me. He said he had it already before he went to the amusement park. So Nagito did that too. It's like Nagito has a full control of the situation. Maybe. Looks like the damage on his head is the reason, huh? The reason Nagamaru died, I mean, stopped functioning. Hmm. His torso is covered in huge dents and his parts are is dislocated. Eh, maybe a gear shift broke too. Well, for now, I tried disassembling Nagamaru's chest. It should help learn something. If that's the case, I need to look for Nekamaru's body one more time. Apparently, Kazuichi has finished assembling his body. We should check one more time. What's in the chest? Oh, look at that clock. The time of death? Is it 5.30? Chest panel open, the clock inside clearly exposed. Uh, hands on the clock is pointed to 7.30. What? Oh, so that's probably why Nekamaru went downstairs. Someone probably fucked with his clock and changed it to 7:30, and he was like, "Oh, time to time to time to do Tai Chi," which means the clock broke in the moment the alarm uh, started ringing at 7:30. What? Uh, clock alarm timer has been added to the truth bullet. Well, 7:30 a.m. is strange, right? I mean, should have arrived at Grape Tower just before 7. Marakuma is Tai Chi. Is this clock not functioning? Nah, wait. This is a highly effective radio clock. Radio clock? It's a type of clock that receives radio signals, so it can automatically uh, update from time. Alright. Simply put, it's storm is extremely accurate clock. That's right. It's a clock that will never slow down. And it was designed, uh, it's even designed so it cannot be adjusted. Ha. Huh. That's cool. He's the Time Lord. Well, even if it's an accurate clock, then you need to install it inside your body. What are you saying? I don't need to wear a wristwatch ever again. There's nothing more useful than this. An accurate radio clock that never slows down, huh? If that's the case, why did the broken clock say 7.30? Radio clock. Radio tower. Radio head. Should back off for now. Yes, I should. 
What's wrong with him? He's crashing over Nekamara's body and it almost seems that he's glaring at him. Okay. Hey, Komaeda, you feeling? You feeling You're fine? The worst. Jeez, this is the worst. Huh? Jeez. You guys overlooked an important clue, I swear. You're just the worst. As I thought, there's no way I can leave this to you guys. What are you talking about? Well, I found this under frag uh, I found this under a fragment of the pillar that I tripped over. Looks like a broken doorknob. You don't cool. even know. Looks like the squirrels can't scrolls? Look like the screws came out with it. It wouldn't happen unless you applied a ton of force to it. Plus, it looks like there's scratches near the base of the doorknob. Hey. Don't you think that's strange? See? If we examine the far back door of Grape Tower, the doorknob is still intact. Now that you mention it, you're right. Now then. If that's the case, where did the doorknob come from? If it's not the door that leads to Strawberry Hall, then there's only one other possibility. It, wait, what? It, it have to be the door connected to Grape Hall that we entered from right... Man, somebody is coughing their lungs out right now. Well... Well, it seems... Uh, it makes sense to think about it like that. <laughs> we should try it out. Try it out? How? You don't know? Well, take the elevator to Strawberry House and we enter the Strawberry Tower and all this other bullshit. The only way we do the other side of the door, right? But the button in the door, Strawberry Hall, is broken. It's obvious. We can just repair it after all. We have the ultimate mechanic on our side. Well... Well, you're right, but I need parts to repair the door. Are you gonna say take parts from Nakamaru? I can repair it if it's broken, but I don't have enough parts. There's not much I can do to it. <laughs> but you have plenty of parts right here! Huh? See? Just use Nakamaru. I'm sure uh, you dig his... You dig through his body, you can find parts to use. Hold, hold it! Are you saying we should use parts from our dead friend? It's called recycling! It's much better alternative than disposing it with the rest of the junk, right? J junk? Hey! Well, Kazuichi, is it possible or impossible? Like you said, I could probably use these parts to repair that button, but... Seriously, hold on! Even if you do repair the button, what's going to happen to the chain on the other side of the door? Huh? Chain? The door that leads to Strawberry Hall has a chain, a chain, has a chain wrapped around the doorknob. Even if you fix the button on Strawberry Hall inside, the door won't open as long as the chain is there. <laughs> you don't need to worry about that at all. Huh? I don't need to worry? What does that mean? Kazuichi, we should go over to Strawberry Hall so you can repair the door. Hey, I'm not finished. Hajime, you're going to come later too, right? It'd be really bothersome if you didn't. I mean, if there's someone in the tower, the door won't open at all. Right? So, you should at least make sure you're not pulling my leg. After tersely saying that... <laughs> what? Ter tersely... That, that's a word. <laughs> After tersely saying that, Nagito left the area. Broken doorknob. Huh? What the hell happened to him? He seems on edge about something. Mm. Well, yeah, he did lose his shit when I said don't use Nekamaru. He's like, it's called recycling. Who knows? Damn right. Ah, uh, that reminds me. Nagato asked Kazuichi to do something weird for him, right? Yep. It has something to do with how the elevator spends 180 degrees. I wonder what that hey. could mean. Actually, to tell you the truth, Nagato asked me to do something weird too. He told me to investigate all the clocks inside both the buildings. The clocks. So, I did what he said and checked them, but I don't know if the clocks had their times messed up. Jeez. But, why do you ask me to do that in the first place? I don't get the bastard at all. For now, why don't we head over to Strawberry Tower too? Along with the doorknob matter, there's still many mysteries surrounding this that we don't understand. If we go to Strawberry Tower, we might be able to solve some of the most mis- Ah. Uh. <sighs> I got a yawn. Some of the mysteries, we'll solve them. You're looks like they're all. Looks like there's all we can do. Let's head over there. You're right. What Naito said about the door, not uh, about the door opening. There's a plan to do about the chain. Looks like it won't come off easily. So does Naito have a plan or something? Jeez, I don't understand it at all. Well, let's get out of here. Ah, well that was weird. Nagito's like losing his shit. Apparently. 
Thanks, Kajuichi. The elevator should work. All right, let's go. We walked to the elevator and made our way to Strawberry House. It's been a while since I came to Strawberry up? House. Hey, you're here. Hey, hey. Kazuichi, how'd the repairs go? <laughs> yeah, well, the damage wasn't too bad once I got the parts, so I was able to fix it right away. Ew! Got a lot of nerves that when you use Nakamura's parts without my permission. Hey, hey! Uh, well, I, I, I mean, even so. Now then. Anyways, now that we're all here, why don't we hurry up and try it out? What'll happen if you press the button at Strawberry Hall door? Even so. But there's no way it'll open. You haven't done anything about the chain. Hey! The door to Strawberry Hall behind Nekamaru's body was blocked off with a chain, remember? If you didn't do anything about that, it doesn't even matter if you fix the button on the outside. <laughs> well, well, now if we try it out. Yeah. It's not even worth trying it out. Now. Wait, now? No! We all come this far. If you say we should try it out, then we should give it a shot. Yep. Yep, that'll be great. Holy shit. I should really save my game. Uh, we're heading to, we're heading over here. I was looking for the hallway, I'm like, where the fuck do we go? There's no way this door will open, not when the other side is chained up. With the feeling of a res, a resin, uh, fuck, a resign, a resonation, I pressed the button. Oh. Huh? Hey, hey! What? Why did it open? Impossible! Impossible! Where'd the chain go? Hold it. Hold on a sec. There, that's not the only thing that's strange. That's right. There's other ways. It definitely looks weird. Oh. What do you mean? Uh. Let's see, why is Nekamaru's body on the other side of the room instead of it being closer to us? Hey, hey! Hey, doesn't it look all the same from when we were inside Grape Tower? Yeah, shouldn't Nekamaru's body be closer to us? Yeah, you're right. When we were inside Grape Tower, Nekamaru's body was in front of the far back door. Which means his body should be in front of the door to Strawberry Hall. If we enter Strawberry Hall, his body should be right in front of the door as we walked in. Why isn't it like that? Why is Nekamaru's body in front of the door to Grape Hall? Hey, hey! Not just that, the parts that I carefully arranged when I disassembled the body all moved too. Um. The body isn't the only thing that moved, even the tipped over pillar and the spilled oil. They all moved the exact same way. The crime scene looks identical to how we saw it when we entered the Grape Hall. Everything that was crime scene inside Grape Tower shifted to the opposite side. If that all rotated 180 degrees, right? Can't imagine that the floor actually rotated 180 degrees, but... Is there really what this means? No, it's not that. I feel like there's an even greater mystery here. A mystery so great that it would drastically affect the outcome of the case. We might have to rethink this. We might need to fundamentally rethink how we've been approaching this case. Strange feeling in tower. Oh, leveled up, that's cool. I see. The chain disappeared. This strange feeling I felt when I went back and forth between the two towers. <laughs> yep, just as I thought, I was definitely the right choice that confirms it. Just as you thought, then you already knew about the mystery? You have a bad habit of relying on others when you don't understand. Why don't you try investigating first? See? The door at the far back with a picture of a grape on it. Maybe there's a clue hidden there. There's a clue on that door? Okay, I guess we'll check out the fucking door. Oh, look, we're missing a door now. Throw a grape, uh, this leaves grape hall. Wait, what? One door knobs is gone. That's bullshit. Now then. It's the same as the door knob that was on the floor. See? See the screws coming out with it? And then the door down next to Nekamaru's body can, can, uh, body came off with the, uh, fuck. Well, that's what it looks like. When you said clue, were you thinking about this? But, what is it a clue to? Broken doorknob has been added. What? Huh? Did you even, uh, did you even get more confused? No worry. 
Just one clue will change everything, huh? All the mysteries will be solved, as if everything were linked together, if you can reach it. Just like I did. What does that mean? Even if I ask him that, Nagito probably won't give me an answer. So, it'll be a waste of time to ask. Well, looks like we can't reach that, because it's time for fuck class, for, for class trial. It appears that it's time for the class trial! To tell you the truth, I'm tired. Extremely tired! I feel like spending the rest of my life hibernating already! Man, I know it's bad, but I'm so sleepy! I just want a ditch! <sighs> Though I really don't feel like it, I'll show you my serious side when you come to the class trial. Even though it's impossible since it's so annoying, you can count on me to take this seriously. Looks like it's gonna start. Another class trial. Hey, hey! But how are we supposed to get to the trial ground? Damn it! You're right. Can't do anything unless we get out of this building. Unless you're inside the trial room right now. Hmm? hmm? Um... Akane, did something happen? Hey, hey! No, well, do you guys hear something? Hear something. Hey, hey! What do you hear this t Suddenly, as cut off Chiaki, our surroundings start to shake and rumble. And then, it suddenly appeared before us. What the fuck? Is... Is he telling us to go inside from here? Um, Seems that way. Alright, all right, I'm gonna go. Just hold on, Nekamaro. I'll make sure I avenge you. Jeez, at least be a little cautious. It's obviously a trap. I agree. I detest the scent of danger, but my familiar my familiars are saying do not go inside. It's nearly showtime! Well, uh, fuck. I'm fucking up all my reading. How entertaining! How interesting! I don't know. If you kill me, you're welcome to try. Try stabbing your sword through my very heart. <laughs> um. Now then, we shall get moving as well. Yeah, yeah you're right. Uh. It's annoying, but if Miss Leia's going, there's no way I'm not gonna go. Damn it! Ugh, it's so damn annoying. I guess it doesn't matter if it's a trap or not. But uh, one by one, everyone went into Monokuma's rock. Monokuma rock. Until I was the only one left, and I was thinking about taking a step forward. We're the same. The same? Step ladders? Huh? Nagito was suddenly standing next to me with his eyes locked on Monokuma rock. Other than the small movements, his mouth, he was per wait, what? He was perfectly still. I'm sorry, I was thinking of something. I was thinking of something that has nothing to do with anything right now. You and I were just step ladders. For everyone who holds the title ultimate, I always believed that I didn't mind. Unlike you, I know my place. What are you saying? Man. That's why I was prepared to become a sacrifice at any time. And from that, true hope would be born. I've always believed that the talent that survived would be true hope. Damn it. But it wasn't. There is no hope amongst all this killing. Of course there isn't. What kind of hope comes from killing people? What? Hmm? Really? Are you suggesting that sacrificing others for hope isn't real hope? But you're wrong. It's only natural and extremely obvious that strong hope devours weak hope. Isn't that right? After all, that's just what it means to live, right? There's no way I'm gonna accept that. Oh well, it's not like that's what I wanted to say to you anyways. There's still one novel I like. It's a particular mystery story. What? Huh? A novel? The story is told from the point of view of a high school girl involved in a serial kill mur- What are you talking about? But when you get to the end... <laughs> surprise, surprise! The girl was actually the killer! Of course, the story is written carefully so the reader doesn't learn the ending in the middle of the story. The protagonist is just a, protect a projection of the reader and this projection turns out to be the killer. Which means the killer you were looking for the whole time was inside you all along. How do you feel about novels like that? What the heck are you talking about? You're just jumping from a topic to another. And I can't comment on a book that I've never read before. No good at all. Such a normal answer. 
I should have expected that from the talentless reserve course student like you. <laughs> but, I know that you don't matter at all. So why don't you care? So why do I care about you? Wait, what? What do you mean you care about me? You don't care about shit, Nagito. You admire hope. I love hope. Right? In some ways, we're similar. But maybe the difference is that what makes me so emotional. Enough already. I don't have time to argue with you. Let's go. Everyone's waiting. Man. Everyone, huh? So you still believe you're just like everyone else. <laughs> Reserve course students are so full of themselves. <laughs> Nagito's chillin' laugh continued as he disappeared into Monokuma Rock. Calm down. That's right. I need to calm down. I took several deep breaths, and once my nerves had settled, I stepped into Monokuma Rock. The elevator shook violently as it descended at an ever-increasing speed. Hey. When we're in a normal elevator that shakes this bad, it reminds me how effective the elevator in the fun house oh, was. Yeah. yeah, that's probably true. The elevator continues to shake, and descended deeper and deeper. And suddenly, it stopped, like it always does. And the door opened. Well, now. I understand your desires to applaud this wonderful vulgar trial ground, but it's so exhausting to discuss useless things, so let's just get on with it already. <laughs> so sad, my chest hurts. Forcing everyone to do it is so sad. Hey, hey don't go talking with per without permission. I said my catchphrase. Otherwise, I'll roll the dice and based on the result, I'll give you a sex change operation that many times. But an extreme punishment. Now then, let's get on with it once again. Let's get a move on, boys and girls. And so it began. I hope this would never happen again. And now it's happening for the fourth time. The curtain to the fourth class trial was about to open. Nekamaru Nidai, the ultimate team manager. He was more passionate, more daring, more honest than anyone ever met. Truly, he was more man than any of us. He sacrificed his body to protect Akane, and his appearance changed drastically because of that. But he still tried to live earnestly. And just when I finally got used to his new form, Nekamaru's killer is one of us. Killing someone because it's the only way to survive is no excuse. I won't let it be excused. I won't forgive this. The person who betrayed Nekamaru. Who betrayed their friends. I'll never ever forgive them. And so, this life-threatening trial, billing with hope and despair, has begun.